Hi everyone and welcome to the Guidewell Insights Lounge. This is Kate Warnock coming to you from day two of the Synapse Summit here in Tampa. I'm delighted to bring another guest to the lounge. We have Samantha Chavin. Samantha, welcome. Thank you, thank you, glad to be here. Samantha is one of our own here at Guidewell. Your title is Senior Director of Care Partner Management at Guidewell. Before we talk about your role, let's talk about what you're doing here at Synapse Summit. I know you're gonna be on a really popular yeah. panel today. Tell us what you're gonna be speaking about, what some of your top points will be. Sure, so the title of the panel is A Corporate Take on Healthcare Innovation. So they're bringing together a variety of representatives in the healthcare system to really talk about how they define innovation and how they're demonstrating innovation by transforming the way that we deliver health care in the United States. Mm. So some of what I'll be talking about is how we guide well and specifically within our Florida Blue insurance plan really focus on creating the seamless experience for our members and in doing so we can ensure that we're delivering the right care in the right place at the right time which is really important to offering an affordable health product right. and so that ensures that we can drive health and wellness within our communities so I'll be talking about that with a particular focus and as I think many of us members will be talking about with technology being the foundation of that transformation and innovation well let's talk a little bit then um, in your role and your perspective where do you think we're going to be going within our enterprise in care delivery in the next three to five years? Do you have any thoughts on that? Yeah, absolutely. In fact, we have a very uh, solid vision of what we consider a seamless experience for our members. Uh, today, I'm sure you've experienced going to a doctor's office, uh, sharing something with the doctor, and them deciding, I think we might do this. And the disruptive pro process in that event and that experience is that they may have to go and get approval or other guidance before they really define what is the confirmed next step. Mm. Well, that disrupts the member, it delays care, and now you're not necessarily getting the right care at the right time and possibly not in the right location. So by creating a seamless event through the integration of all of those systems across the healthcare delivery model and sharing bi-directional data, we can actually create a seamless experience where that provider is gathering the information right there in their electronic medical record. They're able to determine from a care pathway that we, the health plan, endorse, and where appropriate an authorization might be needed, we're able to do that near real time by pulling data out of the medical record and making that determination. And here's where things get really exciting. So that's just the first step. Yeah. But then the member, the patient, leaves the doctor's office and now it's about making sure they're going to the right location. So they're going to get a message from the health plan that says, we know that the doctor has recommended a certain type of service, let's say physical therapy. And here are your options for where you can go to get that physical therapy. And we're ranking that by quality and cost. And offering, as our future vision, the opportunity to schedule that care right there on that app that pushed that notification to right. you. But let's say that you're not such a compliant patient. So you think that's a great idea, but at the moment you've got to get home and make dinner for the kids. Right. Well, in a couple of days or a couple of weeks, based on what we think is the appropriate contact, we're going to nudge that member a little bit more and say, don't forget, it's important for you to get that physical therapy and to do it within a certain time frame of having that visit. So we're going to nudge them a little further, again, make it a very easy process. And now we have addressed the right type of care, the right location, and the right time of the care to optimize the outcomes and ensure a healthy member and patient. So Samantha, everything that you speak, it, it really reminds me yesterday, we had Yulia uh, Karchiskaya oh, yeah. here, uh, and of course she is one of our directors with Guidable Innovation, mm -hmm. and she was talking all about human-centered design. Mm -hmm. So it sounds to me that you're really looking to see how is it that we can leverage technology, yep. use that human-centered design process, mm -hmm. focus on the individual, Absolutely. and get them something that they really want and deserve. So exactly. that's an exciting thing it to look is. forward to. It is, it's very to. exciting. All right. So, you know, today with so many consumers generating incredibly rich data, you just mm -hmm. talked about this technology. Let's think about wearables. Mm -hmm. um, uh, is this information something that Guidewell can incorporate and help improve outcomes? Where are we with, with really leveraging the data that's coming from, from all of this different kind of technology? Right, and I think it's important to talk about the difference between a consumer product versus a medical device. So in a consumer product, it really was intended to be enabling the member or what we refer to as a member, but that consumer to make healthier choices. 
Well, that doesn't include a feature that automatically grants permission to transmit that data to a health plan. So we're working with companies who offer that solution, where they're able to gain the member's approval, transmit that data to the health plan, and by integrating that into our health and wellness coaching, we're able to have a greater influence on driving the right behaviors. Now, when you start talking about a medical device, that's when there are certain criteria that must be met in order for us to use that biometric data in a treatment decision. So we are working with companies to identify which are those products that we can use and give to our members, particularly where there are core chronic conditions like diabetes, uh, chronic uh, heart failure, and things like that, that those devices can actually help us intervene before there's an urgent need and therefore address the treatment in a very timely manner. So we're working with companies to look at how we can really optimize that. There are some innovations happening in those medical devices because they've been a bit uh, difficult to work with as a consumer. So the idea that you have this big bulky item sitting in your house that you have to engage with is not really utilized to a manner that we can optimize the data. Sure. So we're looking for our fellow partners in medical devices to really innovate and look for ways to where it's integrated into the day-to-day -day activities that a member is performing so that they don't have to actually pause and take action. So there's a lot of exciting things happening on that front too. That sounds wonderful. So let's think about you and your role. You, you really hold a position of, of some influence and authority within the organization. If there's an entrepreneur, a startup, or, or an existing technology company that's interested in doing business with the Guidewell Enterprise, what's the right way for them to approach us? Yeah, great question. And, and I think what's important is the nomenclature we're using in describing who we want to engage with. You know, in the old world, as you might say, we looked at vendors. Well, a vendor gave you a solution that was within a very defined box or per set of parameters and they sold us a widget and we used a widget. But that doesn't optimize that solution. So we're looking for partners, so we're eliminating the word vendor and talking about partners who bring a solution to the table but also wrap around it their expertise so that we consider part of the solution them consulting and collaborating to help us optimize the current solution but also looking on how we can evolve that solution to meet the emerging needs. So it's very important that as, as somebody approaches us, which the way in which they can do that are a couple of ways, events like today right. where they can come and visit us at the booth as well as contacting us through our supplier database and registering as prospective supplier. We also have a process where we're able to evaluate prospective solutions and determine if we would proceed to a deeper evaluation for consideration of that solution. Oftentimes, those partners are, find a lot of valuable information in that initial exploratory conversation sure. that helps them further refine their solution so it really can meet the immediate needs but also the emerging needs in the healthcare system. Well, it's an exciting time to be in healthcare when there are so many things to look forward to yeah. that's really going to help people and communities achieve better health, which is our mission, isn't yep, it? Absolutely. So, well, Samantha, thank you so much for thank sharing you. your expertise with us here in the Guidewell Insights Lounge. Thank you. This is Kate Warnock. Thanks for watching.